It sounds like a good movie, but as I told you, the second topic is about the stealthily erotic aspect of the film. So obviously, erotic things are not erotic at all. There is nothing erotic about her panties being shown. Eroticism is hidden somewhere where you don't see it. So where can that be? If panties are not erotic, then what is? Sorry to have kept you waiting so long. Actually, in this anime, all the recurring female characters other than Kiki have something in common. This is what I mean. Four characters important to Kiki. Kiki's mom, Kokiri. Osono, the baker. Maki, the designer who lives across the street, and the sophisticated old lady in the house with the blue roof. They have something in common. I chose these images so it's easier for you to find it yourself. The answer is... They all wear piercings. I think those who have a partner who are in an ongoing sexual relationship wear red piercings. The old lady wears a turquoise blue pierce. It indicates that she used to have such a relationship, but now she doesn't. Kiki, of course, no. Not even in the closing sequence. So Miyazaki, when asked in an interview, what happened between Kiki and Tombo? He strongly said that Kiki and Tombo are not in a relationship. They are just good friends. So it is likely for us to see them dating. No, Tombo is our friend. Why did he say that? I'll explain to you later. So Kiki has no earrings, no piercings. Yes, I know. You've all been wondering. So Ursula, the artist, how about her? Ursula, the artist, here. Ursula, the artist, has no piercings. The elder witch has heart-shaped gold earrings on her ears. Ursula wears hair ties instead of a ribbon, the symbol of self-esteem. However, Ursula suddenly wears this big hat when she goes in front of people. When she comes to the city, she wears this big hat. Miyazaki drew these big things on people's heads as a symbol of their self-consciousness. In the woods, Ursula has such a free attitude, but she's so scared to come to the city. That's why she wears the big hat. So Ursula is still in training, she's comfortably living alone in the woods, but she is not as tough as Kiki to live in the city alone. Ursula has her own weakness that keeps her from living in the city alone. The meaning of the piercings, well, people can have their own ideas. But they are worn under a certain rule, that is for sure. The Kiki film, well, it has surprisingly a lot of messages that are slipped in parts you don't feel are erotic at all. Okay, so this is it for today's free part. I'll soon start the limited part where I will be talking about Gigi's mystery. Gigi is Kiki's sidekick who suddenly stops speaking. Even in the closing sequence where Kiki has restored her power, Gigi remains as a cat and Kiki smiles, showing that she is okay with it. It's this scene. She talks to the cat Gigi, but Gigi still has the eyes of an animal. Gigi remains as an animal and Kiki gives a lonely smile. This is the end of that story. So, why doesn't Gigi start talking again? And why does Kiki give Gigi a lonely smile? Opinions on this issue can be roughly divided in two. The first one is from those who support the original setting, because Kiki fell in love. It's written in the book, when a witch falls in love, she ceases to understand the black cat who's always by her side. A witch finds her new partner, so the cat goes to find the partner of its own. So for people supporting the original setting and those into romantic stuff, Kiki is in love, so she can no longer understand the cat. That's what they believe. Another group thinks that it's because Kiki's magic power, that is, her innocent childhood, isn't coming back. I call them growth believers as compared with the original setting supporters. Kiki has grown so she can no longer understand Gigi. 
Like she doesn't need someone like Gigi anymore. A very persuasive opinion. In the limited part, I will look into these two and share with you my interpretation, which is a different perspective from these. Furthermore, in the closing sequence, I found a hidden message to a fundamental part of Kiki's delivery service. Even Toshio Suzuki missed it. Even he didn't realize. I think it's the biggest twist hidden in Kiki's delivery service. Something that had to be concealed. I want to talk about that too. Thank you so much.